हेलो क्लास टेंथ वेलकम टू द चैनल दिस इज सुहानी मिश्रा एंड इन द सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस लास्ट वीडियो में हमने देखा केमिकल इक्वेशंस चेंजेस और केमिकल रिएक्शंस को आज हम जो भी हमारी केमिकल रिएक्शंस हैं उनके टाइप्स को देखेंगे तो रिएक्शंस के टाइप में जो पहला टाइप है वो है कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन इज अ रिएक्शन इन विच टू रिएक्टेंट्स आर गोइंग टू कंबाइंड विद ईच अदर टू फॉर्म न्यू प्रोडक्ट आई हैव मैंशन द जनरल फॉर्मूला ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन दैट इज ए प्लस बी गिव राइज टू ए बी वेर ए इज अ रिएक्टेंट एंड बी इज अनदर रिएक्टेंट वेन दे आर कंबाइनिंग विच ईच अदर दे फॉर्म ए बी फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टेकन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड The reaction of carbon dioxide is what carbon plus oxygen give rise to CO2. Where the carbon is combining with oxygen to form CO2. Now, what is decomposition reaction? Decomposition means something that is going to break down. So, in this reaction, the reactants are going to break down. into two or more products via heating via light energy or by electric energy in different different types of conditions i have mentioned the reactions name for example let's first look on what is the general formula of decomposition reaction there is ab that is reactant and it will be break down into two product separately a plus b for example i have taken example of calcium carbonate ca plus ca co3 give rise to cao plus co2 if you are decomposing the reactant via heating it will be thermal decomposition for example the formation of cao is also the uh, example of thermal decomposition because it is it is the reaction which is continuously going while the heating is provided to it so it is the reaction in which heating is going to use it will be thermal decomposition number second is electrolysis you can also do the decomposition reaction via electric energy so when you are utilizing electric energy it will be electrolysis the general formula for these reactions are always same number 3 is photo decomposing reaction where light is going to utilize now the reaction is displacement reaction displacement reaction is the reaction in which one reactant is displaced by another reactant to form new product so if i take the example of cuso4 copper sulfate plus iron so in this reaction iron will replace the replace i can say it will be it will be out the copper from the solution of copper sulfate because it is more reactive than copper so basically in this reaction the more reactive element replace or i can say yes i can say replace replace the element that is less reactive than it so in this reaction iron is going to replace the car, uh, copper from the solution for an instance so it will form FeSO4 and copper will be getting out clear the type of displacement reaction is always now what is double displacement reaction double displacement reaction is a reaction in which one part of a reactant is replaced by the other part of reactant and form new produ uh, products for example i have mentioned the general formula ab plus cd b is going to be replaced by the part of this reactant that is d 
and form AD and and this D is replaced by B and form CB okay for example I can take example of AgNO3 plus NaCl give rise to AgCl plus NaNO3 okay when cellular nitrate reaction with reacts with NaCl sodium chloride it gives silver chloride and sodium nitrate so it is the example of double displacement reaction now what is dissociation reaction dissociation is rea is a reaction in which one reactant will break down to form two or more products i have write the man i have write the general formula ab give rise to a plus b it get dissociate into a and b for example i can take the example of hydrochloric acid that is going to dissociate into h plus and cl minus ion so while while this dissociation reaction is going under the presence of ionic energy it will be ionic dissociation and when under the presence of um, heat it will be thermal dissociation okay example will be remain same all in all these reaction so now students ko jo problem hota hai samajhne mein ki dissociation and jo aapka decomposition reaction hai wo ek hi hai kyunki wahan par bhi ek oxidation reaction oxidation reaction means there are some points there are some phenomena those occurs in this reaction i have mentioned the point addition of oxygen removal of hydrogen or loss of electrons let's have a look on the reaction copper plus oxygen combined with each other in the presence of heat to form copper oxide so what is going in this reaction copper is getting uh, copper gets oxidized because oxygen is adding to it so it is the example of oxidation reaction you have to just remember the addition of oxygen is oxidation addition of oxygen is oxidation and the last one is very important loss of electron why the loss you will briefly study this point in higher classes now what is reduction reaction reduction reaction means addition of hydrogen in this reaction copper oxide a copper oxide plus hydrogen in the presence of heat form copper and water so what is going in this reaction hydrogen is added to the reactant right removal of oxygen yes copper oxide removes the oxygen from this compound right i mean copper is reduced copper reducing oxygen so it is the removal of oxygen the points you have to remember i have mentioned removal of oxygen and the last one is gain of electrons so it is all about the reduction and oxidation reaction now redox reaction i have told you that it is the sum total of redox uh, reduction and oxidation reaction so when the reactions when oh, these no, both no, reactions no. the example of redox reaction is copper oxide plus hydrogen give rise to copper plus water so from the redox point of view what is going in this reaction first of all it is the it is the uh, displacement reaction and now what is going in this reaction copper oxide copper oxide is reducing oxygen so i can say copper is copper get reduced and the second one that is hydrogen hydrogen is getting oxidized because oxygen there is a gain of oxygen oxygen is added to the hydrogen so remember always the always the element reduced or oxid um, oxidized always on the reactant side never the product side okay now what is hydrogen doing in this reaction hydrogen is helping the copper oxide to reduce the oxygen so it will be reducing agent please don't be very confused it is it will be reducing agent just because of it is helping this to reduce the oxygen and copper oxide is helping to hydrogen to oxidize 
सो इट विल बी ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट 